I know most of you are more so interested in next week's episode uh, comment reactions, but let's get what I should have done last week out of the way with. Hey guys, this is my video talking about your guys' comments for the 17th episode of Supernatural Season 15. Now, admittedly, this was the very good one, so it's going to be kind of odd going from the good one to the kind of lackluster despair one, but I'll try and view it as much as I can knowing what I remember and feeling how I felt when I watched uh, Unity. So here we go. The only big issue with this episode is how they throw common sense out the window. Apparently Castiel can tell if someone's lying, season 12, but oh no, Amara and the MTs, some of the most powerful beings in the universe, are totally oblivious when they're so obviously being lied to. I will admit, yeah, when Dean was Talking to Amara, I was like, man, it's so goddamn obvious that you're being bad, but again, in terms of how the writing of this season has been, it wasn't the worst. I think that they had a very limited amount of time with the actress who plays, uh, Emily Swan, I believe her name is, who plays the darkness because she's off on better things, you know, like the Mando. Season 15, episode 17, writers, oh, this is the final season, well, why don't we try and not write a filler episode? <laughs> That's a good one. I thought there was a lot of good ideas in this episode and some spectacular performances all around, but it all felt too rushed. It feels like the writers were playing catch-up when they didn't have to. Why did they waste time on those three previous episodes with Monster of the Week stories when they could have been using them to build the major climax in this episode? Instead, the boys are sitting around acting like they don't, they can't do anything until the time comes. We shouldn't have had an episode dedicated to each of the... Uh, oh, we should have had an episode dedicated to each POVs of the shown. Give me an entire episode of Amara trying to convince her brother to do the right thing. Give me a whole episode of Sam struggling to find a solution. Let me see Dean really escalate. The show needed to flesh out the character motivations before they got to this moment. That's why Dean pulling the gun felt feels so ridiculous. It doesn't feel earned. None of it does. I will actually kind of counter you on that. One, they just never have had the attention span for it. Not in the last little while. But I get where you're coming from. That's actually a good point. Admittedly, they are trying to cram a bunch of things. The previous useless episode should have at least been contributed to this one. I say that they should have split this one into two different episodes and still use the different POVs building up to it. Because, yeah, when Dean pulls the gun out on Sam, I was like, all right, okay. <laughs> Which makes that whole, you're the most selfless person I've ever known speech that Cass does in the next episode just so stupid. Like I said, we'll get to that when we get to that video. They're going to try and wrap up the entire series in four episodes. Good luck. This episode was pretty good, but had a lot of cringe moments like Adam saying, chill, dudes. I don't know. I didn't mind the Adam guy. I didn't expect this to be so good, given how awful the last three episodes were. I was like, this didn't suck. And finally, no more sh shitty filler episodes. When Chuck said, have fun watching him die, I was expecting a little comic relief with him saying, again. Honestly, so was I. Right? I was like, oh, cool. Only seen this happen so many times. With Jack as the bomb and slowly dying, it would have been more intense if we hadn't seen it a million times before. We all know that they're going to do a deus ex machina to save him, so watching that little scene was like, meh. Exactly what fucking happened to... I liked this episode and wasn't bored. Wish Amara took Chuck a, lo a longer tour before the bunker, but it was fine. Was it the angels or the humans that wanted Chuck's autograph? Again, Chuck is not a villain. They clearly retconned it. But if Ch if Con if Chuck is a stand-in for Dab, then fine. He is the villain. Also, random thought, but when they saw the shooting stars at the start of the episode, I was wondering if Chuck also destroyed the fairy realm. Because with that said, a different realm in the season six, the leprechaun said Lucifer wasn't his devil. Did Chuck make that realm real? Or My God, man, you guys, are, you you're you're reaching for shit that these guys don't even care about anymore. Another hardcore fan, Alan King, Alana King. Oh yeah, I've seen her for this episode in the in the video was critical of the season and mentioned how Dean pulling a gun on Sam was so out of character and a lot of things you mentioned which surprised me since she is more positive than you. The video, however, had likes and comments disabled probably because the cult fan base maybe attacked her for they got toxic in the video for the episode because she says in the end to let us know what she thinks in the comments, but it's disabled. Here's the video in question, has a reacts. That's horrible. That's honestly, you know what? Just because... It, uh, this is why I don't like the Supernatural fan base. A majority of them. There are some very genuine and understanding characters like Jade. I love that we can have our disagreements, but we can be civil about it. A lot of the fan base is absolutely psycho. 
I agree with you to say this is the best episode of the season so far, but I don't think it's a good episode. I think they happen to have a good premise for the season, and now that they're finally addressing it, it's kind of hard to screw it up, at least if they do, do the basics. And that's what I think they're doing, do the basics, the bare minimum. I mean, uh, we have these ancient entities, the... Oh, ancient entities, the empty, the darkness, death itself, and God fighting one another. At least... The least I'd expect are dialogues intelligent enough to reflect how old and wise these creatures are. Instead, they act like moody teenagers. I still like the episode, but only because um, what came before was so bad, and this was a breath of fresh air into the lungs. This episode proved to me that they had to put minimum effort in developing the darkness, God, empty, and death. We would have had a much more enjoyable episodes, even if they're mostly made out of dialogue. I am comparing this to season 11, because essentially we're on the exact same plane. We are in the exact same area, and it's not as good. The first thing I said after this episode was, that didn't offend me. I still think the Michael Adam episode is the best episode of the season so far, but this episode was definitely a good one. Admittedly, it has been a while since I watched that episode. It's been a while since the first half of this season, so... Maybe that was a bit rushed of me to say that, but I think, yeah, you are right, that was a very good episode as well. It was an alright episode, but I feel that they could have done more with Adam since he's, you know, the father if, of God, Cain. Uh, I kind of wish Dean even, even mentioned he's the only one that killed him, and both of the sons are dead now because of that blade. Oh yeah, that blade. Ugh. I only caught one retcon, and that is Adam being alive. Chuck said that he was dead in season 11. Anyways, this was a good episode. The fourth episode I only like this season. I see that they're raising the stakes once more to, <laughs> to make me give a crap. Uh, that's pretty much all of us right now. This was indeed in a refreshing episode. Uh, sure, it didn't have the quality and the continuity regarding the established lore, but still entertaining. If they keep it up like this for the next episodes, I'm okay with that. This was definitely a top three episode of the season so far. The other two would be six and eight for me. Meredith Glynn is still the best writer of season 15. I enjoyed the episode, except some of the dialogue with Amara and Chuck. Adam Michael episode was the best of the season for me so far. The early one with Lilith returning was also good, and I also thought that they set up um, some interesting returns of stories because she was working for God, but it led to literally nothing, and I guess Lilith really just died in that diner. Oh, yeah! Fuck, that was so... I forgot Lilith was un oddly retconned. I really like this episode, especially the part where God points out that, that he's omniscient, which is something people keep forgetting and how Sam points out that his behavior isn't his hero at all. What would be awesome if they didn't do the same old script? Maybe the Fab Four work like a well oiled machine and everyone tells the truth and they all act together as one. Love the costume. Thank you. Someone pointed it out. I was feeling a little sad about that. Too little too late. Supernatural but I did really enjoy this episode quite a bit. Kind of weird how Cass just stands around when Dean pulls the gun, but whatever. Interactions between the characters were very good here. Nice to see Padalecki finally given some good material to show what he's capable of. Disappointed to see Chuck still being written as such a child, especially in the series finale villain, compared with the portrayal of Amar in season 11, Lucifer season 5, Azale, and Alistair. I saw the previews for the next episode, and it looks weird and kind of cringy. Oh, yeah, we're, yeah, we're, we'll talk about that. We'll, we'll talk about that. Bro, I watched all your videos. You make the best reviews about Supernatural. Oh, thank you. I completely appalled by the lack of dignity in the portrayal of the characters. Adam, first man, says words such as, chill, dude. Seriously, God blows raspberries because stuff. Finally happened, doesn't make it meaningful, nor does boredom punctuated by childish activity make it interesting. Ooh, very good. That's a good, that, that's a good rip there. This was the best episode uh, since the return, but I don't understand why they aren't using Michael from the original universe. I mean, he is the venom of the supernatural. He's such an interesting character and he isn't utilized. We should have, he should have been in the last season to fight Michael from the apocalypse world. Supernatural has so many opportunities to hit a home run, but they end up striking out. They did it to themselves. I also want to see Crowley and Lucifer return to fight Chuck, but we know no, that's not going to happen. No. Honestly, guys, no. No more Lucifer. Uh, Mark Shepard says he he pretty much, like, the, br the bridge was burnt with this show, so he's never coming back. It was a good episode, but a lot of lazy writing. The whole ex machina of the death key. Cass took the idea out of nowhere in just, like, five minutes. There it is. There's the key, man. It's so lazy. Yeah, you're... No, you're not wrong. It, it is a bit lazy. You're a true fan. Love your stuff. It's great to see someone else who watched the show from the beginning and remembers what it was originally about and sees how much it's declined. I was starting to think I was the only one. Oh, don't worry, bud. You'll find a lot of friends around here. You'll also find some of the people who still haven't moved on. 
cartoon i don't get that but chuck idea makes sense the one he the one you seen before was just an act as a part of the show this is him from out dean is a cartoon he's been an absolute cartoon in the last little while so was chuck but yeah no he's just it's been a joke to see him in this show like i'm go i'm comparing him to season three and i'll be comparing him from the earlier seasons he is a complete cartoon of his original character that's mr got it to you jeremy and i have a horrible and I have the same horrible disease Rachel has, and I've had it for 30 years this month. Oh, well, sorry, Sarah, and I'm hoping you're doing as best as you can with that. I understand it's a very hard struggle, and I hope you're doing as well as you can be. This episode actually felt like a supernatural, except for the Sam and Dean fighting. I usually love when they fight, but and talk about heavy-handed holy frog. Anyway, at least there is exactly one member of the staff who can write this show and who gives a fuck. Uh, I totally, it's totally downhill from here. This is the point to stop watching the series forever. And on an okay note, the end. I think you were a bit harsh, though. This was potentially one of the best episodes of the last four seasons, which is saying a lot. You're given bigger pieces of spit five. No, no, no. This is a five, my bro. There's no way this is higher than that. I, I literally just watched season three, and I gave a shit ton of episodes in that one. I see a five and a six. None of the episodes of this season have gotten that close. After weeks of nothing happening, this episode gives me whiplash. A lot happened so fast I needed to watch it again. I was most surprised and a bit confused about how much Dean hates Jack, though I guess it makes sense for the mom stuff, but I thought Dean considered him family. Also shocked Dean pulled a gun on Sam's face and wouldn't listen to him. Cass is so useless they have him, why they haven't have him, have him there? Great to see Meg back. Amara got screwed hard. I need to see the next episode to judge this one. Anyways, those are all your guys' comments. And I know how many there are for the next one. You guys don't make this easy, do you? Alright, anyways, thank you guys for your comments. I hope you liked the video. If you did, leave a like, and if you're interested in more, subscribe, and I will see you guys on the next one. Thanks for watching the video. My name is Nitz, and you might remember me from the animated cult classic TV show, Undergrads. It's been a while, but I'm happy to say the click is finally getting back together in an all-new movie, thanks to a successful Kickstarter campaign. But we are still asking for your support. To see any and all updates about the upcoming Undergrads movie, be sure to check out and like the Bring Back Undergrads Facebook page. And with any luck, we'll see you guys soon.